TIFU by looking at my dead husband's phone. This happened about a year ago. My husband and I were married for six years. We had some issues while married including frequent business trips. Not doing any chores while home. Expecting that I would cook something for every meal while also working full time. Just generally lacking empathy or affection. He died while away on a trip in a car accident. They gave us all of his belongings and it took me a few months just to want to have a look through them. To settle his estate we needed to find out where he kept his money. All the accounts I knew didn't have as much money as I thought we should. I looked through his work phone to see if there was any bank accounts I didn't know about. Just to realize they were full of pics with his ex. I didn't want to look. But had to. His business trips were all to see her. There were messages from when we first met each other till today. Even during the wedding he messaged her saying he hoped it would be her next to him. My entire marriage was a sham. I talked to the husband of the girl and showed him all of this. Almost as an act of revenge. A year later. I still go to therapy. Attempted suicide once and can't trust anyone. Possibly ever. TL. Doctor looked at my dead husband's phone. Realized he was seeing his ex for the entire duration of our marriage. First. Sorry to hear. I can't imagine your pain. Second. Remember. How other people view or treat you does not define who you are or your self-worth. Don't penalize yourself for other people's fault. Hope you continue your therapy and believe in that one day. Someone will recognize your worth and treat you with respect. I'm really sorry that this happened. A betrayal on top of a tragedy. And you don't get to confront him directly about it. As others have said, his cheating was not about your worth in the slightest it had everything to do with his own issues and his toxic way of trying to cope with them. Cheating. Please take care of yourself. And don't be afraid to reach out to friends, family, or even kind strangers if you need support. Like on this thread. If you self-harm over this he wins and he's not even alive to see it. Find someone who makes you happy and that's how you win. Did you at least find the bastard's money? That is heartbreaking. I'm so sorry for you. Hopefully she is now divorced also man shrugging light skin tone. In this scenario I would say that Tifu means that is fucked up. I don't understand why he would even marry you and not his ex. Dudes like this are psychopaths. I am confused how these kinds of people get married? Was he loving and caring while dating and engaged but then suddenly when you got married he went. Emotionless? Sounds like he was a narcissist who likely enjoyed stringing her along. All he had to do was make her promises that he had no intention of keeping. And he got to have his cake and eat it. 2. These people get off on manipulation. Power and control. I'm sorry you went through that. Single. Married and life after divorce. Great book. It helped tremendously after going through a terrible divorce. None of this is a fuck up. You didn't deserve that. You are valuable. You deserve to be happy. I know it sounds terrible. But since your marriage was a sham. You're probably better off. You could have been with him for years or even decades. Never knowing that he didn't love you like you thought he did. This is awful. I'm so sorry that you were treated so badly. Please. If you are able. Get some help for how you're feeling. Having said that, you will cause yourself immense further harm if you go through life expecting the people you meet. To cash the checks you husband wrote. You may miss out on a wonderful person because you expect them to be terrible. I'm so sorry for what you've been through. The man you married had a sickness. When you married him. You married him with love and integrity in your heart. 
His choices are not a reflection of who you are or what you deserve. By being strong and moving forward progressively you can and will create the life that is yours. This is the way. I'm so sorry for you. He was in the wrong side. Not you. You've got a third chance to live. Make the most of your time here. You deserve to be happy. Honey. The heavens gave you the gift of escape from this lying piece of shit. Live your best life without this scumbag around to drag you down. What a coward. He's surely rotting in hell. Up please take care of yourself. You deserve so much better in life. Find something that brings you joy to keep you here. Your life isn't over yet. Oh wow. What a horrible thing to see at any time, never mind when you're grieving. I'm so sorry Op. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.